My name's Daniel Adamson. I'm an independent journalist and I've been editing a special issue of New Internationalist magazine about civil society in Syria. Syria is in the news a, a fair amount. What you see from Syria is either the atrocities committed by ISIS and other Islamist jihadi groups all the atrocities committed by the Assad regime. There are still Syrians, both in the diaspora and inside Syria, who are working to, uh, to try and uh, remember the ideals of freedom and dignity that were so central to the uprising four years ago. activists who are training citizen journalists, there are activists who are reporting and documenting atrocities, there are activists who are attempting to promote the idea of transitional justice or to negotiate local ceasefires. There are many brave and dedicated Syrians. The magazine attempts to recognize and amplify the voices of some of the best and bravest Syrian activists, both inside Syria and uh, in the Syrian diaspora. Some of the activists uh, who have contributed to the magazine or been profiled in the magazine are fairly well known. For example, we have uh, a feature about the uh, Syrian free speech advocate and lawyer Mazin Darwish, who has just been released from jail after more than three years in Assad's prisons. That feature is written by uh, Darwish's wife, Yara, and you know, it, she speaks about Mazin's long struggle for freedom of expression in Syria. We have a long feature about how art and creativity uh, has been used to express dissent and to articulate the ideals of the Syrian revolution. We also have an interview with a man called Ra'id al Saleh, who is the head of the Civil Defense Force, better known as the White Helmets. These are volunteers who uh, rescue civilians trapped in the ruins of buildings that have been barrel bombed by the Assad regime. So far, these men have saved something like 22,000 lives by pulling people out from under the rubble. I hope that the magazine will serve to amplify the voices of some of these very courageous Syrians and that it will stand as a reminder that the Syrian people are not just uh, pawns in a game between Islamist jihadis and dictators. They are, that they are very proactive, very courageous, very dedicated uh, you know, activists and humanitarians um, and those people ought not to be ignored.